Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh So welcome back to my video So let us continue with chapter number 7 on the topic of transmission line and this particular example we have the short line short transmission line example 7.1 <clears throat> so the question sounds uh, 60 hertz short transmission line having r equal to 0 0.62 ohm so this is the value of resistance per phase and l which is the value of inductance equal to 93.94 millihenry also per phase so now uh, let us uh, go for the uh, receiving end part so this uh, uh, transmission line is supplying a three phase y connected 100 mega watt load <coughs> of 0 0.9 lagging power factor at 215 kV line to line voltage so we know that this is actually the uh, kV LLL LL or line to line voltage so this is the power factor 0 0.9 uh, lagging and also this is the uh, real power of P uh, which is 100 megawatt load then calculate descending and voltage per, per phase uh, okay this is all the data we collected here so r equal to 0 0.62 ohms and value the inductor value 93.94 millihenry so x equal to j omega l this is equal to j to 2 pi f l <coughs> and set all the value 2 pi multiplied by 60 multiplied by 6 93.94 ohm uh, sorry uh, henry or millihenry right the value of l so now x giving uh, the answer of j 35.4145 uh, ohms meanwhile <coughs> value for z is we have r plus j x so r again this is the value of r so just substitute into here and we have straight away the value of 60.62 plus j 35.4145 ohm so since we have described and we have defined that the parameter of A is equal to 1, B equal to Z, C equal to 0 and D equal to 1. So we may proceed with the following analysis. So VRN is the per phase receiving voltage. Okay, And then remember this is a Y connected here. So this is a Y connected system or Y connected load in the system. So make sure you must have this equation or this relationship where VR 929 over square root 3 in order to get or to obtain the value of uh, phase per phase voltage, especially at the receiving part. And then uh, substitute the value of VR LL or line to line voltage and this is I believe from this question okay this is from question 215k V over square root 3 and yielding the phase per phase voltage is equal to 1 to 4.13 kV and this is the equation of IR or the relationship between IR S, R, as well as V, V, R. Okay. So we have I, R equal to S conjugate R to phase over 3 multiplied by V, R, V, R per phase. And then we have uh, over here the equation of, uh, again, this S, R before you proceed with this one. So make sure we calculate the value of S, R. Okay, the receiving apparent power, power in 3 phase. And this is how we can calculate. So SR three phase equal to P, the actual power or the real power in watt, three phase over over power factor, and this is the cost of the or the power the power factor of the uh, the load. Okay. 
uh, cos 0 0.9 in order to get into a degree. Okay? So just <coughs> change from a radian to degree. So again, this is from question 100 mega, 100 m. Okay, this is again from a question. So 0 0.9 is the power factor and you up cos 0 0.9 again. So you may get this. Uh, this 25.84 degree. Solving this calculation, so you will get 111.11 MVA and with the phase angle of 25.84 degree. And then only after you calculate the value of SR preface and conjugate it in, uh, in order to get the value of I. I R, okay. So one 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 so conjugate. So if you refer to previous slide, so you find this one as positive sign. So now remember, don't forget the to change the sign from positive to negative due to conjugate operation. So multiply by or divided by three multiplied by V R R N one to four point one three. This is what we have uh, calculated earlier. So we got this again from the line line divided by square root 3. So this is giving us the value of IR 298.37 with a phase angle of negative 25.84 ampere. And then VS and N. So this is from our first equation which we have derived earlier uh, with the model of two uh, uh, port network. So we have A V R L N plus B I R L N. Right, so all in per phase analysis. Okay. So one, this is the value of I. Okay. So B, remember this is equal to equal to Z. All right. So this is equal to equal to Z. So what's the value of Z? So it's on top here. Okay. okay. So this is the value of Z. 0 0.62 plus j 35 point blah 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 all right so just substitute into this z okay so we were we are ln so we have uh, obtained this one earlier so ir again this one also from uh, from from here okay and then finally we can get the value of vs per phase the LN line to neutral value 1 to 9.25 with the phase angle of 4.18 degree K, KV. So, in order again to convert into a line to line, so you have to multiply by square root 3. And this is the value of the sending and part of line to line voltage, which is equal to 2 to. 23.686 so 4.18 oh, degree okay, KV alright so we have done with example number 1 or example 7.2 now we move on to a second example so we actually borrowing from the previous example in order to proceed with voltage regulation and the system or the transmission line efficiency. Okay. So we just borrow again all the data provided in example 7.1 okay, to find the value of again uh, the voltage regulation as well as the uh, as well as the uh, efficiency. Okay. Solution. So let us recall again the formula of uh, voltage regulation. So we have Vs over A, okay, in this particular example, A equal to 1. And then finally, we have the Vs, the sending voltage, over the receiving and voltage, as well as dV, Vr. Okay. So, multiply by, of course, multiply by 1, uh, 100%. So this is the video of uh, sending voltage, okay, Vs. So this is the receiving. All this we can find from the previous slide. 
Okay, so this is again the VR of a uh, VR. So the VVS. Okay. The sending value we just calculated in the previous example. Multiply by 100%, giving VR the voltage regulation is 4.12%. So what about the efficiency of the transmission line? So we have this equation or this relationship where we have PR, this is the uh, receiving real power P over sending real power S multiplied by 100%. And for short transmission line, so we have seen that I S equal to I R or I sending equal to I receiving, all right? Because we have removed the uh, capacitance capacitance effect in the middle of the transmission line, so thus we have a series connection of the sending and receiving part, and due to that I S is equal to I R. So that's uh, from here, as as three phase. So this is just another correction. If you see from the previous or the initial slide, so it is it was written as as okay the sending apparent power single phase, but this is actually three three phases. Okay, multiply by three equal to sorry three multiply by V S single phase. Multiply by again by IS conjugate. And uh, here is the uh, VS. Okay. It is, is this the value we have uh, determined in the previous uh, slide. And again, this is also from the previous slide. Okay. The IS, then make sure you have the operation conjugate done. Okay. So I believe. Uh, the IS in previous example is, is negative. Okay, so now we have the positive value. Then uh, giving the value of uh, sending apparent power 3 phase equal to 100.173 megawatt plus J57.881 m over. So remember this is the value of P, okay, S, 3Q, 3, sorry, not 3Q, but 3 phase, this is Q, okay, S, 3 phase as well, okay. And from here, so this is, can be uh, used in order to find the value of efficiency, here, PS, okay. And thus, PS, okay, you want this one, what I mentioned just now, equal to uh, 100.173 megawatt over P, uh, then this is the PR, uh, the receiving power, uh, the load section, so we have 100 megawatt given in the, in the question. So, the efficiency of the system equal to again PR over PS receiving over sending multiplied by 100%. So we have 100 megawatt over 100.173 megawatt multiplied by 100% giving the value of efficiency is 99.83%. Okay, now. Uh, Example 7.3, so 22 kV, okay, this is the uh, power rating of the system, 22 kV, a three-phase transmission line is 40 km long, so this is the value of the line, okay, the uh, line, line or length of line is given as 40 km, so the resistance per phase, the value of R is equal to 0 0.15 ohm per kilometer, right? So this is the per kilometer value of R and the inductance per phase is 1.326 kilometer. Okay, 
3 milli henry so this is again the value of n so the shan capacitance is uh, negligible so c is uh, negligible so this is equal to uh, zero and then use the short line model to find the voltage and power so again use the uh, short line model Okay, to find the voltage and power at the sending end and the voltage regulation, the VR. Uh, so, sorry. So, let me write the symbol. So, this is VS and also power at sending. So, this is a PS and the voltage regulation okay. and the efficiency. when the line is supplying a three phase dot so this is what happening or the data some of the information we can get at the uh, load session with the uh, s value or the apparent value 31381 mva at 0.8 power factor lagging and then this is the value of full load voltage so the second part again similar data three it one MVA, but this time we have 0 0.8 of the leading for the same full load voltage, which is 2 to 0 kV. So, solution the series impedance per phase. So, consider S uh, equal to 60 hertz, so Z equal to R plus J omega L and multiply by, by L. So, this is the the line length the distance of the uh, the, the the line okay. 0 0.15 ohms so j to 5 multiply by uh, uh, frequency 60 and then this is the value of the uh, inductance okay and yes this is the uh, the length uh, l equal to uh, 40 kilometer this is provided in the question so, kilometer. so the wrong way is doing like this where you have l equal to 40 kilometer and then you pan to multiply by 40 to the power of 10 multiply by 10 to the power of 3 so this is wrong okay so don't do this just multiply by 40 because this this value is per kilometer okay this value is actually per kilometer so 0 0.15 1.326 so this milli henry this is the value per kilometer so in order to get the series impedance so don't need to multiply by 10 to the power of 3 okay so just multiply by 40 so z equal to 6 plus j 20 and then the receiving end voltage per phase is here okay so v r and n so this is again the per phase uh, receiving end voltage 220 uh, i believe this is from question so q meaning or stands for question so divided by square root 3 okay so 1 to 5 0 angle kilo volt so the apparent power Again, this is from question 381 mega VA volt ampere. So, this is the power factor at cost 0.8 to get the uh, degree value. So, some additional note over here to give you idea why the positive value of angle, phase angle over here. This is actually positive under the, uh, let's see the question again under the lagging power factor condition okay so lagging power factor so this is the lagging power factor or power triangle so we have positive value or positive uh, yes positive value of the uh, power triangle uh, degree so the angle is positive because uh, power is lagging behind s so this is P, so this is taking behind S, which resulting in 
the angle is positive. This means a parent power S is above okay, the real power that give the positive value of angle. Okay, this is positive. And then, uh, all right, so com convert from polar to rectangular. So again, this is for sure the PR value of three phase. As well as the Q value, the relative power of receiving N part, by receiving N, PR, T, this. Okay. So the current per phase is, again, this equation. Just use this equation. IR, C phase, equal to SR, the phase, conjugate, symbol, don't forget. So multiply, divided by 3, multiply by B, conjugate again R, L, N. So, so now we have the negative value of the parent power. Okay. Over 3 multiplied by 1 to 7, uh, 0 uh, degree, 10 to the power of 3 kilo volt. Okay. So 1000 minus uh, 36.87 degree ampere for the uh, current per phase at the uh, receiving end. So what about the sending end voltage? So V S L N. So this is for the equation for the network uh, two point network question. So V R L N plus Z I R single phase. And then uh, substitute the value here. So this is like from here also we can uh, pick. Okay. And then again, this is the Z, the series impedance value, J plus 6 plus J20. And this is the value of I, R uh, per phase we just calculate here. Okay. Then giving the sending end voltage per phase is 144, oops, 144.33 uh, phase angle. 4.93 degree kV. The sending end line to line voltage just multiply by square root 3. Okay, so this is the value you obtain here into here. Okay, multiply by square root 3, giving uh, the sending end line to line voltage equal to 250 k kV. Okay. So what about the sending end power? So remember, this is the VSLN over here, okay? So multiply by IS conjugate. Okay. So this is again the relationship or the formula of S descending and power. Three phase equal to three uh, VS descending and voltage per phase multiplied by ascending uh, current per phase and conjugate. So 144 for the VSLN, the per phase sending voltage, and 1000 blah 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 for the uh, sending current uh, per, per phase. And remember, I believe just now we have IS equal to negative, now we change to, to positive. Okay, due to the, again, uh, conjugate operation. And then giving the value of P, uh, ascending power, sending and power, okay. 3.322.8 megawatt plus J288.6 M bar and again this is the P of sending and power uh, three phase okay. and this is the D, Q uh, sending and power var uh, three three phase right. then the voltage regulation so 250 so this is the VS value okay this is vs okay this is the sending voltage this is v r at full load basically we got this one from uh question so this one also from question b we are okay. so under under full load condition okay so vs so 250 we can cross check the value of vs line to line is over here 250 kilo kilovolt all right and if you go back further to the question so you find the value of vr the receiving 
line to line voltage so this is the receiving end of a line to line voltage at full load okay this means this is vr full load uh, same goes to the uh, second question or question b 220 kv is the full line uh, receiving or uh, full load sorry full load receiving and line to line voltage so now back to the question okay now 250 again uh, vis multiply uh, minus v uh, 20 to 220 over 220 so multiply by 100 percent so you got the percentage of voltage regulation is 13.6 percent then that's uh, the transmission line efficiency so we just pick from what i have explained so this is at the receiving over the sending so three sorry we go for the sending first since we can immediately take from here okay so this value okay, so remember you just calculate the sending and power over here as sending s so inside sending s we do have the pps okay ps and put down put it down here and this is from the uh, uh, beginning of the analysis where we convert the apparent power uh, given by the question from polar to rectangular form okay so here this is the p pr and the receiving receiving uh, real power okay. just to do these two value to obtain the value of uh, if efficiency okay. summation lines efficiency so what about the second question question b so the current for three this is similar process but this time around we have 0 0.8 leading power factor all right so leading power factor if you go uh, through the power triangle relationship between p q and s so you will see that uh, so this is leading power factor so p is on top of s okay or we can say that s is underneath p giving the negative theta or negative theta for the uh, apparent power angle okay, under the leading power factor okay so since it is a conjugate process or uh, conjugate operation so we have no longer was negative but we have the positive okay. this means initially sr is negative angle this angle eh? yeah and vrln so this is from vrll okay to 20 just now divided by square root 3 and now in this uh, example just multiply by 3 so giving the ir so p this is a stand for phase okay don't get confused so this is uh, uh, the subscription for phase or giving 1000 ampere with the phase angle of 36.87 degree so what about the sending end voltage so this is from the question so we just derived earlier so vs ln so per phase equal to vr per phase plus z ir uh, per, per phase so this is the value of i we just obtain okay here all right so we have the z value okay and then finally we are able to uh, calculate the value of vs per phase or the sending end voltage per phase okay. and then the sending end line to line voltage magnitude i believe we just need to multiply by square root square root 3 vl L here and then multiply by square root 3 giving us the value equal to 210.26 k kV. So the sending end power is again use this equation right and then I conjugate don't forget the operation 
of our conjugate. So change to negative now. So we have uh, V S L N multiplied by I S per face. And again, this is the P S. Okay, this is the Q Q S. What is regulation? 210.26. This is P V S. Okay, this is V R. Again, this is from question. Okay, the receiving end voltage. So this is another receiving end voltage, the same value since the equation is same. So we have 210.26 is from this one. Okay. So remember this is a line to line uh, magnitude value. So line to line, okay, this is line to line as well as the uh, receiving and voltage so we are is negative all right so negative is negative 4.43 percent so the same goes to the uh, transmission line efficiency so 3 to 2.8 is taken from here and this is from the beginning of the analysis where we have the 381 uh, mega mega var okay of the s and we expand the s into rectangular form in in order to get the value of s so the sr again i rewrite equal to uh, p r oops plus q q r so just take the this the this this value uh, into this and giving us the uh, efficiency of 94.4 for the okay in the next video we will continue with uh, second category of transmission line uh, namely uh, medium line uh, thank you very much for your time and for watching this video see you again thank you very much